Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Hawa Aisha binti Abdul Rahim and I'm from JBA 2513C. In this video, I will be presenting my assignment 2 for ICT 500, Creative IT Solution. For task 1 asked me to pick one user group and identify their problems. So the user group is disabled people and to be exact, mute people. A mute is someone who does not talk either because they are unable or unwilling to communicate. The term mute refers to a person who is deaf-mute and unable to utilize articulate language owing to significant congenital or early deafness. The main problem here is these people have difficulties in ordering food. For task 2, I chose two different apps that is Live Transcript and Spoken AAC. Live Transcript, it enables two-way conversation via a type-back keyboard for users who can't or don't want to speak and can switch between two languages at a time. Blue circle indicator that detects the loudness and noise volume level of speaker's voice relative to the noise of environment on the right corner of the app. While spoken AAC. Spoken uses predictive technology to simplify communication for people with aphasia and other speech languages disorders. Instead of limiting users to simple phrases and icons. The app predicts the next word you are likely to use so you can quickly build complete sentences. Spoken also learns your patterns and improves over time so users can communicate in their unique voices. It's available for both iOS and Android devices. After voting and rating both apps, I picked Live Transcript as my benchmark. Since it has the highest vote for all category. Why do I choose Live Transcript? It's because this application earned the highest votes out of all available IT solutions. It is free to use and available for both iOS and Android users. Next is, the app's feature and interface are user-friendly, not complicated to use even when for first-timers. The app also is convenient for deaf people as this app converts from sound to words. However, this app still lacking in certain terms. To improve this app so that it will be more mute person friendly, the first one is camera feature. It allows the user to use sign language into words for the listener to read. The next one is voice recognition. It allows the app to recognize user who unable to speak properly voice. As you can see here, this is Scamper. Scamper is a useful list of words to help us think differently about a problem, idea, concept, or issue. S stands for substitute. What can we substitute? What or who could we use instead? C stands for combine. What can we bring together? A is for adapt. What can we adapt for use as a solution? M is for modify. Can we modify or change the item in some way? P stands for put into other issues. What are the new ways could this be used? E stands for eliminate. What can we get rid of? R stands for rearrange. What can we rearrange to change? S to substitute. To substitute the feature of live captioning to voice caption with words caption. C to combine words captioning with voice captioning easier for the listener. A. To adapt. To adapt that this app is focusing on deaf people but as a solution, change this app to mute people friendly. M. To modify. To add the voice feature instead of just words features in this app. P. Put to other users. Instead of just put captioning, put also the intonation as well. E. To eliminate the features that aren't user friendly such as voice recorder. And R. To rearrange. Change and add features. Add voice caption together with intonation of the speaker. That is all from me. Thank you for watching.